Hey guys, no, update. Um, took it up for a ride. Runs great. Uh, when I was working on the uh, wiring and I used a bit to take all these uh, switches and stuff off the one side so I could flip the wiring harness over, I was using a kit like this. And the problem with this kit is it's cheap to start. The uh, bits won't stick in the uh, screwdriver. Uh, there's no magnetism, so if you turn them upside down, they fall out. Cheap Chinese screwdriver. Anyway, um, when I was tightening up the power switch yesterday, or day before, I dropped the bit, and it bounced off the brake disc. I heard a ding, and then, yeah, I thought it was gone. I thought it went underneath the counter somewhere, and it was history. Well, it wasn't. Um... <laughs> It ricocheted off the uh, the brake disc and went right in the hole of the motor. So this is solid piece of metal. I think it was this one here. Yep. This one was floating around in the motor. <laughs> um, and it didn't start rubbing and, and, and popping and doing all kinds of damage to the motor until halfway through the ride. I crawled home. Took the motor off, <coughs> took the uh, side cover off, or just give, left a little bit of a gap, and then and then that just fell out. Um, but here's the thing: after I went for a ride and I came back, I didn't really notice anything, but I did notice there's a funky smell coming from the motor, like it smells like it's literally burning. Um, I came down here and took a look at this bit, and it was covered in copper. That's never a good thing. So my guess is when it fell, it was on the leading edge of the um, motor, and it was in between the side plate and the uh, right down where the bangets are, and it's just rubbing against the um, rubbing and binding up against the top of the uh, the uh, copper windings all the way around. So I guarantee you the copper windings on the one side of this motor are totally screwed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it off and have a look at it, because obviously if that's the case. I need a new motor. Um, I can get a rear one like that one for 269 delivered, uh, which I'll probably do. I just did some research on it, but uh, I have a feeling this one is just toast. I have it, you know, if it's if it's chewed up on the all on the one side, then we're done. So I'm gonna quickly get this off, put it in the vise, and uh, pop the lid off. Man, that totally blows. If that bit had fallen on the other side, there's such a gap there, it wouldn't have made a difference. But this plate being totally flat, there was like no room. And I don't even know how this thing got me home. I mean, I, I could feel it like binding and, and popping and, and the controller was jerking like crazy. But I thought it was binding against the actual stator itself. Um, I'm going to try and give you some close-ups of the damage to some of the windings. Like, I mean, you freak out if you uh, break one strand of windings on, on a motor. I got some here that are almost totally missing. It just, like, just gouged the... And it's unfixable because it's right at the base of the uh, stator. Well, I'll try and show you a couple of them. If you could see that one there. What I need is better light. Let me point a screwdriver. I mean, um, flashlight. Try and find the. Uh, let me give me a second to find the deepest one here. So there's one gouge, right at the base of the uh, stator itself, right before the winding comes. Uh, windings come through. You can see all the silver. It's just literally dug right in there. And it's like that all the way around if you follow it. <laughs> Some areas are deeper than others. But uh, you pretty much get the idea. It's, uh, it had nowhere to go, so it literally just ran right in here. Up against the magnets. And uh, the copper just happened to be in the way. Right there, there's some more. That's brutal. It even removed some of the... Um, some of the uh, some of the uh, rope that uh, was holding the uh, copper. So that's how bad it was. Right there, see how shiny that is? It's all totally dug right down. 
there's an, I'd say at least in some areas it looks like there's three or four layers of copper just totally ripped through. So that's why I was getting the weird smell from because basically the strand that's inside the, the uh, stator itself is literally having a meltdown and uh, that's the end. It's too bad though because this, this motor was working so good. But uh, we'll be getting another one. I've already priced it like I said and uh, we'll get a rear instead of a front. But uh, that is the end. If you know of something falling in your hub motor for whatever reason, or something popping or clicking, don't use your bike. I mean, for me, I had no choice. I mean, I thing weighs 200 pounds. I'm not going to carry it home. But uh, it's done. So ebikes.ca, your motor lasted eh, about nine years, and uh, it would have still been going if it wasn't for a cheap, uh, cheap screwdriver set from it in China. Later, guys.